Hello everyone. In previous videos, we talked about how to perform something like short circuit test, something like eccentricity modeling in some motors. But here in this video, I want to simulate a switch reluctance motor from the zero step, from the basic steps. I will tell you how to modify a template to get the results and we will do it together steps by steps. This model will be parametric. For example, if I change the outer diameter, for example, here I performed a parametric design and I change the outer diameter from 120 to 155 we can see everything will change we want to do it together and get the result from this simulation the source of design will be results from some papers for example one of them defined the parameters with these names and the other one defined the parameters with different sizes and a slot in the stator test. Here I modeled this stator test slot parametric to, for example, I will change it to 8 and you can see the slot size will change too. Let's start from the beginning. We will simulate this geometry. We can draw the whole geometry from 2D simulation and with drawing options. But Ansys Maxwell has a part named RM Expert, Rotational Machine Experts, and it has many templates for machines like SRM, PMSM, and other induction machines. All the machines are included in the RM expert. So we will start on the basis of SRM template. To do this, I will go to the file menu, go to the open example. It depends on the version that you are using. In new versions, you have to find the RM expert and go to the SRM. We have one model for SRM. I will open it. You have to know that you can't save the template, the file on the template file. So you have to save as this model on somewhere else. For example, save it in another folder. When you open the SRM template, you have to fill all the variables here that is asked for example friction loss windage loss speed and the type of control many of them are not critical but we have to fill all of them for example that was in machine part we can go to the stator and we can see we have to fill the outer diameter, inner diameter, length, stacking factor, the steel type, and other parts. It includes the sizes, the control type of the machine, the external circuit, and winding, for example, number of turns per pole, number of stranded and other information i want to design this machine parametric so in the first step i will right click on the arm expert name and go to the designed properties you can find this option in the arm expert menu design properties here we have a blank page but we have to define variables that we want to use for example i will add a variable i will name it a stator on the line outer diameter 
I will choose the unit type as links the unit will be millimeter and the initial value will be 120 I will click on OK and I have this variable right now depending on which parameters that you want to make variables for example like this or like this the outer diameter with the stator yoke or the outer diameter with the teeth size it depends on variables that you want to choose you have to choose some independent variables and create other variables by those independent variables so i will choose some variables like outer diameter of a stator like the stator yoke i will define it as a length millimeter and for example 10 millimeter for initial value of a stator yoke we have to define all these independent variables it doesn't matter which variable you want to choose as independent you have to define all of them and when you want to change the value for example in when you double click on a stator and you want to choose a stator outer diameter we can delete the value and use your variable name a stator outer diameter okay now you can see the outer diameter is equal to this variable and evaluated value is 120 millimeters now if you choose if you change this variable to 150 you can see everything will change and here in a stator with the value is changed the evaluated value is changed too so we define all the variables and we use them in the fields for example here we have a yoke thickness i define that as a stator yoke and if i choose that the evaluated va value will be equal to the stator yoke value and the size will change here in my final simulation with sizes in this slide I defined these variables I will right click on the name go to the design properties and I define these variables rotor arc coefficient is its embracing factor of a rotor this the rotor yoke it's obvious the links it means I mean axial links the shaft the shaft will be equal to the rotor inner diameter the rotor tis size the stator arc coefficient is the inverse factor of the stator a stator yoke a stator outer diameter a speed 3000 rpms turns i use that as number of turns in a stator winding and the gap it is used in air gap size I define these variables and I use them in a way that we will see let's go to the simulation in the stator size I use a stator outer as outer diameter and instead of the in a stator inner diameter I used first the size of the rotor shaft plus two rotor yoke plus two rotor teeth plus two air gap so this is the stator inner diameter i created this variable with other independent variables i use the lengths for axial lengths I use uh, the stacking factor is not variable because the lamination always have 
the value like this the steel type is m19 the number of poles is not variable and you can't use variable in pole number the the inverse factor is a stator arc coefficient and yoke thickness i use a stator yoke let's go to the winding the variable that i used is turn here turns per pole i use turns and the evaluated value is 50. other parts like end adjustment parallel branches are not really defined as a variable and it is useless to define them parametrically let's see the rotor size the inner diameter of the rotor is shaft i defined that as a shaft parameter the length is obvious and the rotor outer diameter defined as shaft plus two rotor yoke plus two rotor tis here you can see it is the shaft the outer diameter of the rotor defined as shaft plus two rotor yoke one each side and two rotor tis each side so I defined with the other the independent variables. The stack factor, the material, number of poles, and embrace factor as rotor arc coefficient, and the rotor yoke will be yoke thickness. We have to define the setup analysis. Here we have rated a speed, a speed as 2000 RPMs. We didn't have the rated output, so I made it 1 and 1.2 kilowatts. And you have to fulfill all the fields in the SRM template. But many of them have a great values for default. For example, I don't change the default values for circuit. After this part, you have to analyze the setup. I will analyze it. It will give you some curves and outputs like the flux linkage versus current, the output torque versus speed, the output power, the input DC current. You can see all the outputs from the RM expert, but they are not accurate. The RM expert won't give you accurate results. The good results will be extracted from 2D model like this, not RM expert. RM expert is a fast template based software. So to get a 2D model in the RM expert, you have to right click on setup and choose the create a maxwell design i will create a maxwell design in 2d it will define the circuit and the 2d model itself you can see it is creating the external circuit to excite the windings on the stator and here it is creating The geometry excitation boundaries and it will use the symmetry too so this model is created from our expert we have to add a slot in the stator by ourselves because the RM expert won't allow us to change the stator shape to create that slot First, I will choose to draw a rectangle. For example, here. I will draw a rectangle here. The size is not important because first I will, I will draw it and then I will go to the create a rectangle and I choose the values. For example, the initial position. 
the initial position should be from the air gap we know that the air gap has a size equal to the shaft plus rotor yoke plus the state uh, plus the rotor tis if we want to change it to variables we have to define the starting position the y size of this rectangle and the x size of this rectangle after we define it make it variable then we have to rotate it to get into the center of the stator tis i will rotate it by 360 divided by 16 and it will get to the center of the stator tis you have to calculate the angle then i will copy it around the z axis with 45 degree I will make four copy of them unite all of them I select all of them by mouse and click on unite now if I select the stator and select these rectangles and subtract them you can see we have a, a slot here in my simulation in my final simulation let's see which variables that I choose for this rectangle size we know that we def we subtracted this rectangle from a stator let's open the stator let's go to the sub the last subtract and here is the size of this rectangle it's obvious that the x size and the y size is defined h underline w and h underline d just like this paper h w h d the x size and y size is obvious but the starting position is important we start from the air gap definition shaft plus two rotor yoke plus two rotor tis plus two air gap divided by two minus 0 0.2 millimeter to ensure that we delete all the part of the stator we don't have any remaining part from iron and the starting position for from y size is h underline w divided by 2 to ensure that we have symmetry geometry on the x axis then i rotate this part and i duplicate it along the axis as i did in the video so we have a parametric design for geometry for example i will change the rotor yoke to 15. you can see everything will change i will change the air gap from 0 0.5 to 5 millimeter the stator will change but you have to notice that how did we draw this simulation in this kind of variables that i used if i change the rotor yoke the stator size will the air gap size and stator size will be changed because the air gap size depends on the shaft and the rotor yoke and the rotor tis in this part i illustrated how to create this model in ANSYS Maxwell 2D and in ANSYS Maxwell RM Expert. So we have both models here RM Expert model and Maxwell 2D model. Here we have to define some changes too. For example, we have to go to the motion setup, go to the data and change the 
speed variable the variable that we defined before so we have a parametric model and now we want to simulate it and get result from 2d model to simulate we have to right click on the setup and click on analyze it will start the analyzing and start from the zero point and increase the time to get to the final point in the next video after this analyze is done we will talk about how to get results like torque current voltage the flux density and other parts if you like this video please click on subscribe click on like button and if you had any question you can write down your question in the comment part see you soon guys